Hey you guys. So today we're gonna try out how can we perform a dinner of service attack on a web server. So before I start it out first, this video is just for educational purpose only. So please don't try it on a real server because later on you're gonna invite a lot of trouble to you. So let's get started over here. Over here I got a Kali Linux machine and a Metasploitable machine running. The Metasploitable machine will be hosting the website running over here. So these two machines right, they are running on two different network adapter. And as you can see this window over here right, I'm doing a ping to the web server IP. Okay, so this pinging right, actually I'm doing a SSH into a remote machine that somewhere else in my house. So I use the one machine to ping to the web server. As you can see, the ping is quite healthy over here. 2 or 3 ms only. Okay. Try to check out the website. Click anomaly in the login page. I'll get in. Okay. And click back to the home. Everything runs smoothly, right? Okay. The first thing we're going to do right now is we're going to do a sin flooding attack on the port 80 first. So, how can we do that? Ping 3. Flood. Flood command stands for we're going to flood it as fast as we can. And then, sin. We put an S. Stand for sin packet sending out only. So ignore the sin ACK and the ACK. As you know, the TCP three way handshake, right? They got sin, sin ACK, and ACK. So what we need to do is we just send a bunch of sin packet out only. We ignore the sin ACK and the ACK because we don't want to make a connection to the web server, right? We want to send a bunch of sin packet out to flood it. That's why we call it as a sin flooding attack. And then we put a P stand for port, port 80, the HTTP port. And then run source stand for random source. So our source IP is going to be randomized all the time. We send out the scene packet 192.166.0.137, which will be the web server IP. We click on enter. Okay. We check the ping first. As you can see that. This one. Okay, the ping is still healthy over here because right now we are targeting on the port 80. Only. You check out and over here first. Hmm, so it's starting to load already over here. Start to load, start to load. It's quite slow then because we are doing a scene flooding attack on the port 80, right? But the machine is not affected because we are targeting on the port 80 only. If we want to target directly on the web server host, right? The web server, the web server. Lah. So if you want to target on the web server, what we need to do? We just remove the minus p this sign over here. We directly target on the web server over there. So we try it out. Okay, we try to remove the port 80 over here. We directly target on the web server. Okay, this one I'm trying to see can we load or not? We still can't load. But did you notice that the two different over here? Just now we use the dash p port 80, right? So we target on the port 80. The ping is still normal because the web server right is running normally. Just the web server that hosting the website, right? The Apache 2 web server is running not okay on it there. But Right now, we're running on another command over here, which will be this command. This command, actually, we are doing a scene flooding on the port 0. If you can see over here, I'll try to run my, uh, what's it, the wire shot, right? You can see that they are sending a bunch of scene packet to the port 0 over here. And if you attack on the port 0, right? As you can see the ping right to the web server, it shows that the destination host is unreachable directly. The time also it takes gonna be 10 millions man. It's very very long. So this one right will target directly on the port zero, which will directly target on the web server, and it causes the whole web server to be overloaded. Okay, so as you can see, I can't even load the page over here the web server is overloaded right now. This is how we can perform a denial of service attack on a web server. If you guys want to do a distributed denial of service, which we call as a DDoS attack, 
you can just run the same command on different or multiple machines attacking on the same web server that's how we can do it I'll try to check and see if we go and cancel out this command right? close the command okay we'll try to check and see the ping again okay can ping can ping right okay I don't know, did the web server die or not over there? Now I'm going to try to check and see first. Okay, it seems like the connection has been lost already. So, never mind. Okay, it seems like it hasn't lost yet. It starts to recover back from a bunch of SIM packet that sent to that that overloaded it. After processing everything else, it's just back to normal. We try to load the page again and it's just back to normal so let's conclude the video so that's how we can perform a denial of service attack on a web server to run a distributed denial of service attack we just run the same command hping3 command on multiple machine attacking on the website so that's all for our video thanks guys bye bye